There's four main differences between small module reactors, SMRs, and what we can call big nuclear. Obviously the size, the build process, footprint, and then kind of operations and how it's run. So size-wise, 300 megawatts or less, sun down to even one megawatt um, for micro reactor. And compared to big nuclear, anywhere from seven you know, to 900 up to 1,000 megawatts. So the build process, so again, being modular and being able to be shipped to a site, much different than what we see for building big nuclear, which can be very costly and tough in today's day and age. And then the footprint is also quite different. So big nuclear, you have quite a few miles of emergency zone. Small nuclear, zones are, are quite small, Foot, footprints are small, so you're talking meters versus miles. And then kind of the last thing, operational, so a lot of this is digital, simplified kind of technology and parts. A lot of things will be able to be done remotely instead of at the site. There's actually a, a lot of great opportunities with SMRs that we see. So of course, being zero emission, when the wind's not blowing or when the sun isn't shining, this could be a really great opportunity to have another baseload type of energy, so it's really flexible. SMRs are actually being developed in multiple stages around the world. We're seeing a lot of Western countries, so you've got the United States, Canada, and the UK especially. They've got a lot of different designs out. They're actually in different stages of being reviewed by the regulatory bodies um, being approved. When reading the EIU, you'll really find out a lot about SMRs, kind of where they are in development, what hurdles we're gonna have to jump through to, to meet goals, and what can we do to make them a reality.